Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Steve Ford, and welcome to your English lesson. Today, we have a wonderful lesson, a fantastic lesson, learning how to speak English fast and learn or review a little grammar at the same time. Are you ready? Let's go. So, in this lesson today, we have the modals might, may, could, and must. These we're going to use today as modals of probability. And we, of course, know that might is a weak possibility. It's about 25% approximately. I'm just trying to give you a number here. We have may, which is a 50-50, 50%, kind of like could, which is about a 50% possibility. And then we have must, which is a very strong possibility or probability, about 90%. Okay, so now we're going to go into using those same modals, might, may, could, must, in the past. So, might have, may have, could have, and must have. And of course, we can say those faster with contractions. So, let's listen to the music to practice it. Are you ready? Let's go. Might have been, may have been, could have been, must have been, might have been, may have been, could have been, must have been, faster, might have been, may have been, could have been, must have been, might have been, might have been. May have been, may have been, could have been, could have been, must have been, must have been, might have been, might have been, might have been, may have been, may have been, may have been, could have been, could have been, could have been, must have been, must have been, must have been, might have been, may have been, could have been, must have been. Let's go back to the lesson. So let's take a look at some situations that happened in the past. First, this poor lady who seems lost, she was lost at the airport. So what do you think might have happened to her? Mida is a more friendly way. It's talking more quickly. Might have completely acceptable even in business English. So what do you think might have happened to her? I think in my opinion that she got lost and she might have been looking for her husband. What do you think? You let me know what do you think could have happened to her. The next one is very sad. We have a woman, she's the bride, and she seems to be sad because she's waiting for somebody, the man of her life on her wedding day. So what do you think must have happened to her? I'm going to guess and say that the man of her life must have backed out at the last minute. It's a great phrasal verb. In this case, back out means to not participate or not go, in this case, to his wedding. So he backed out. He gave up. He didn't want to go. Maybe there's another reason. You can leave your comments down below. What do you think might have happened to her? The next one, we have lipstick on the collar. Someone came home with lipstick on his collar. What do you think might have happened to him? I'm not even going to mention it. I'll let you try to post some comments about that. Well, maybe he might have, um, yeah. Hmm. And of course, the last one, we have John. And John, he worked at the stock market. He was a stockbroker. And then suddenly, overnight, he was working as a chef. Well, what do you think could have happened? Do you think that he might have lost his job for some reason? Do you think that he could have been fired? Do you think that he must have been burnt out? Really tired of working as a stockbroker? You let me know. So we're going to play a game. Yes, it's everybody's game. Is this real or is this fake? With all of the technology that we have available to us today, we can do so many things with it. We have Photoshop, other video editing programs as well, such as deep fake, where we can really convince people that something which 
is fake looks real, but it's not. So we're going to go through some photos and you can play this game with me if you think it might be fake or real. The first one here is a bull. And do you think that this is fake or that this could be real? Hmm, looking at it, it's kind of deceiving. It really looks like it might be fake. I don't think I've ever seen a bull with horns like that before. But what do you think? Do you think that could be real? Maybe you have some inside information. I'll let you look at the t details of that a little bit. And if you thought that it was real, yes, real, you are correct. It is 100% real. What about these trees here? Do you think they could be real? Do you think they might be fake? Looking at them, they look kind of strange, all pointing in a different direction like that. But we know that in nature, many times strange things can happen. Fake or real? What do you think? In fact, this picture is real. Yes, 400 bent pine trees, which creates a truly creepy setting. Yes, yeah, so it's real. I thought it was fake. Next one, a picture of the Statue of Liberty in a huge storm. Fake or real? It might be real, might be, could be. In fact, it is fake. So this photo went viral around the time of Hurricane Sandy and it was photoshopped. Yes, caused a lot of panic. The next one looks a little fishy, a little suspicious. Up on some high platform, we have a tennis match. Do you think it's fake or do you think it's real? Well, it could be real if it were in a place like a place where they have a lot of money and they could do something like that. Might be. Real? In fact, it's real. So this is a tennis match that was used to promote uh, an event in Dubai, and it's a game by none other than Roger Federer and Andre Agassi. So yes, that photo is real. This next one is hilarious. Is it fake or is it real? Is it a fake hilarious or a real hilarious? Well, we're going to find out. You can check out the details there. Could be real. It's huge. If you thought that it was fake, I'm sorry, it's real, yes. So this is a rabbit, it's from Turkey, and its fur is so long that they actually use it similar to sheep. This next one looks like it could be real. What was the largest squid there ever was in the world? Real or fake? If you thought that it was fake, yes, you are correct, yes. So, in fact, this is Photoshop and the squid is actually superimposed on the image of what was originally a shark that washed up on the beach. Okay, everybody, I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, you can do that here. You can also watch more videos here, pronunciation videos. You can also contact me or follow me on my social networks below. And I look forward to seeing you in our next English lesson. Make sure you give this video a like, share it with your friends, and we will see you in our next lesson. Bye, everybody.